national chairman, the national chairman of the great NDC, Joe Boy. Oh, show some love to General Mosquito. General Mosquito is in Tamale. Show some love. Choboi! The Chairman General, General Mosquito! Choboi! 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 Let me see your flags, the NDC flags. Let them fly! Oh, look at how Choboy. beautiful! Choboy! So beautiful! Choboi! Thank you very much. Your Excellency, the incoming President, John Dramani Mahama. Your Excellency, the incoming Vice President and the first Vice President to be of the Republic of Ghana, Professor Nana Jane Upoku Ajemai. Your Excellency and my own sister, Lordina Mahama. Hey. I want to say that. So all of you out there, wave your hands. You are all comrades in the struggle. Show your hands. Show your hands. Show your hands. Show, hand. hand. show your hands. Show your hands. Hey. Hey, Azu. Hey, Azuzu. Today is not a day for long speeches. And I don't intend to make any long speech at all. Today is not a day to convince those who have been converted already and been baptized. Today is the day we are launching the NDC campaign to move to the presidency. So I'm not going to address you. My address is going straight to the presidency and the occupants of the presidency. His Excellency Nana Adodankwa Akufuado. Why am I saying this? Today marks the beginning of a struggle to decide who becomes the leader of this country. And you all remember that eight years ago, this country was handed over to Nana Dodan Kufuado in one piece by His Excellency John Dramani Mahama. So to those who know the telephone number of Nana Dodan Kufuado, who have any contact to Nana Dodan Kufuado, please take this letter for him. Dear Mr. President, you remember that eight years ago, the NDC and President John Dramani Mahama handed over to you a peaceful country in one piece. We are heading towards a crucial election. You are wearing two caps. You are the leader of a party going into this contest, the New Patriotic Party. But more importantly, you are the current leader of Ghana. You are the president, the first gentleman of the Republic of Ghana. So even as your heart desires that your party will win elections, you have a bigger responsibility of making sure that there is a transparent, peaceful elections in Ghana and there is 
smooth transition to the incoming president without a drop of blood coming out. And so, Mr. President, we have four months now to go into elections. As all president, previous presidents have acted, we have heard you. We have heard your message on the MPP platform. You are delivering as the leader of New Patriotic Party. We are yet to hear a clear message from you, Mr. President, committing yourself to a peaceful, fair and transparent elections in Ghana and committing yourself to respect the wishes of Ghanaians and putting yourself in readiness to hand over power peacefully to whoever is chosen by the good people of the Republic. Four months is too short. President Rawlings declared his preparedness to hand over power to anybody who will win elections one clear year before the elections. President Atta Mills did the same. President Kufu did the same. President Mahama did the same. We are ready to hear what you will say. What you have said already, that you will not hand over until you hand over to the uh, candidate of your party, we consider it to be platform talk. Come out and speak as a father of the nation. You must set the tone for this election. If the election is going to be peaceful, it must begin from the mouth of you, Nanado Dankwa Akufuado. If election is not going to be peaceful and you want to destroy the country, you want to blow the bridge once you have crossed to an island, let it come from your mouth on a presidential platform. We have heard what you have said on your political platform. We are not MPP people. So we take it that you are addressing your party faithful. Come and speak, President of the Republic of Ghana, and give us assurances that you are interested in peaceful and transparent elections. And when the people decide, you are ready to hand over. Chabai. Mr. President, we want to urge you to call your appointees to order to prevent them from abusing the power we have entrusted in them to pursue their political interests because they will be resisted. Mr. President, we beg you. You are the Commander in Chief of the Ghana Armed Forces. Your word to the security sector that you are interested in peaceful and transparent elections will be obeyed because you are the Commander-in-Chief. Don't hide under any cover. You are the one giving the wrong instructions. Own up and tell them that the power of the masses is stronger than any army or police in the whole world. Chabai! Dunga! Hey, Zuzu, my next message goes to the Council of State and the National Peace Council. We are beginning the contest for power today. You have been established as the institution responsible for advising the President of the Republic of Ghana. Please. Stand up 
and discharge your responsibilities. The nation is in crisis. We are going into a crucial election. Justify the reason why you were put in place. You were not put in place to bootleg the president. You were put in place to advise the president because we know there will be a time that you will have a president who is recalcitrant. There will be a time that we will have a president who will not listen to the masses. That is why we established the Council of State. Please stand out and be counted. Do your duty. Either you work now or you have yourself to blame five months from today. Hey. The National Peace Council, oh. your message is simple. Act according to your name, the Peace Council. We did not establish a Peace Council to be appealing to the emotions of people who have been wrong. We did not establish you to appeal to the oppressed, to guarantee the peace of the oppressor. We establish you to speak the truth. Tell whoever is not conducting himself well, whoever is moving on a dangerous path to create problems of this nation. Shalom. So if you are interested in peace and you want to act according to your name, Please be proactive when you see the early warning signs. Don't wait for anybody to wake you from your slumber. Stand up, speak out, and be counted by posterity. Thank you. The next message, I want to send this straight to the heads of security in this country. Ladies and gentlemen, is the Chief of Defense Staff listening? Whoever is close to him should nudge him to listen to Asya Dunkatia on Tamale platform. Where is the IGP if he is listening? My message to you is simple. The day you were commissioned into leadership of our security services, you swore an oath to protect the interests of Ghanaians. You didn't swear to protect the interests of any regime that is in power for the time being. We know you are working under pressure, but please, you can absorb that pressure and do the right thing for the next four months. If you fail, on the day of accountability, you will not have the president who is pressurizing now to do the wrong thing to come to your defense. You will be left with yourself and your God. So this is the time for positive defiance. You cannot be following wrong instructions under the uh, excuse that power from above order from above. There is no order from above. No order from above. You swear an oath to this country that you will stand up and defend the country and put your life on the stakes if you fail. So please, we beg you, we trust you. You are the unsung heroes of this our fourth Republican democracy. Peaceful transitions have happened because you did not look on for wrong things to be done. You defied instructions on the D-Day when you considered the instructions to be wrong and stood up to protect the democracy of this country. Do it once more. Hey! My next message is directed to Nananum of this country. Nananum, the chiefs, we did not insulate your institution from multi-party politics, partisan politics, for no reason. We know why we did that. We knew 
from our past history. If you allow politicians to meddle up with our holy institutions like the tradition, uh, traditional councils and paramountcies, you end up with a situation where the institution will be destroyed. Please, you have a role to play beyond appealing to us for peace. Stand firm and neutral in this context so that if there is a problem and you invite us to adjudicate, we all trust you and come before you and listen to your advice. If chiefs meddle in politics, then there will be a time politicians will meddle in chieftaincy. And we don't want that. That is why we frame the constitution to prevent chiefs from engaging in multi-party or partisan politics. Stay holy, stay clean. We know you are under pressure for Nana Kufuado who want to compromise every institution in this country. You are our last hope. Stay clean. So that you can protect our democracy. Finally, our religious leaders Religion is a very important structure in nation building. And so in crafting the constitution, we were very careful to ensure that political parties cannot be formed based on religious denominations. We were careful to ensure that nobody can form a political party based on a religion. And so for the past so many years, this country has stayed peaceful. Nobody has campaigned in this country on the basis of religion. Let me tell you that religion can become a very, very dangerous force that can destroy a nation. If you mix politics with religion, you have a divided nation that cannot be reconciled upon itself. So we are talking to our colleagues in politics that December this year, we are not going to look for a bishop. We are not going to look for an imam. We have those people already. What we are going to look for is a leader who is truthful, who is trustworthy, who has vision, who can lead this country out of the quagmire we are facing. Hey. John Mahama. And that leader is President John Dramani Mahama. Thank you. Those who know Quran, Thank you. go and read the Quran. If you are looking for an Imam, the first thing you look for is a truthful person. No religion will accept a liar as their leader. Whether you are Muslim or Christian or Hindu or Buddhist or traditional African religion. So look at the attributes of the choices you are facing and decide. We in NDC believe that President John Dramani Mahama satisfies all the criteria for leadership, whether he is found in a religious sector or whether he is found in a political sector, because he is truthful, he is honest, he is courageous and yet tolerant. He listens to the masses. Hey. And so, this evening, I have come to address this message to these very important leaders of our country, Ghana. Whether Ghana will remain peaceful depends on what happens in these elections. Aluta!
Continue. Aluta. Continue. Thank you very much. Thank you. And may God bless you. Oh, oh, hey, my brother. I want We are song. going to church. I want the song. Change those crazy ball heads out of this town. We are going to change the crazy ball heads out of this town. Not every ball head, but the crazy ones. Otherwise, we will have to change Okuja 2 out. So, thank you very much, and may God bless you. Thank you, General. Thank you, General.